They're not putting any money in your pockets. None. You have to get your finances together to take care of your household. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. A couple of weeks ago, I made posted a video about keeping up with the Joneses. And I was reading through the comments and someone made a comment about saying that they are poor and they are okay with being poor. And I want to ask you guys, how do you feel about that? How can you live with no hope? To me saying you're poor and you're okay with that, that's pretty much saying you have no hope. Guys, we all should have hope. We all should be looking towards brighter days, better days, more fruitful days. How can we live with no hope and be okay with it, guys? When I read that comment, that comment really saddened me, guys. It saddened me because I'm, I'm reading a comment from someone who's saying basically they have no hope. And reading that comment really saddened me because... I feel everyone should have hope. Everyone should be striving for better, for a better life, a better financial life. Everybody should be striving for their rich life, whatever that means to you. I just got promoted, right? So that's why you see this background. Yes, I'm in a hotel because I just got promoted at work and um, I'm down in St. Louis, Missouri, doing some training for the next couple of weeks. So that's why you might see a couple of videos uh, from me being in a hotel. But I want to keep on making content so I can keep giving you guys information. And guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I really feel like why are good things happening to me? Because guys, sometimes I don't think I deserve it. I really don't. I'm just going to be honest with you. Sometimes I have that I don't deserve it syndrome. I don't. Th sometimes I don't think I am worthy. I'm going to be honest with you. That's why sometimes I feel that way. Because, guys, I have done a lot of bad in my lifetime. But that was also when I was younger, when I did these things. I was younger. You know, I I'd be thinking, like, man, why do I deserve to be in the position that I'm in. But then I have to think sometimes and then I have to really look at it and say, you know, but Frank, you have actually did the work to make yourself a better father, son, friend, uncle, brother, what have you. Because I work on myself daily. Because when I leave this earth, I want to be remembered by what I did for people. I want to be remembered for the impact I had on individuals. It's not about material things. So I was sitting here in this hotel and I was just, just thinking about my life. I was thinking about this promotion. Guys, I wasn't even trying to get promoted. I'm going to be honest with you. I wasn't even trying to get promoted. I wasn't trying to. I wasn't working towards a promotion at all. But an opportunity came about and it was offered to me and um, moving back and forth on salary negotiations. Then I ended up accepting a new position. It's within my same company, but again, I'm wondering like, why is these good things keep happening to me? But guys, I believe when you, when you are just a, when you're a good person, when you do the right things, you do right with your money, you treat people right, you give back, you help people. I honestly feel like money comes to you in abundance. I really feel that way. It just flows to you. I look back on my life and the way I came up. I came up hard, guys. Came up through the ghetto. Came up just trying to survive, you know? And um, rough neighborhood, ghetto, um, grew up in Michigan and it was some really rough times, but guys, I decided a long time ago 
that nobody was going to give me a damn thing that I was going to have to work for. I understood that early in life. Nobody's going to give you anything. You got to get out of here and work, ladies and gentlemen. You got to work for what you want. You know, we're coming upon another election. Doesn't matter who you vote for or who you support. That's your business. But they're not coming to save you. They're not coming to save you. I don't care if it's Kamala Harris in the office. I don't care if it's Donald Trump in the office. They're not coming to save you financially. That's up to you. You have to save yourself financially. They're not putting any money in your pockets. None. You have to get your finances together to take care of your household. You have to take care of you. I go back to 2007. If you haven't heard it from, that was the year my dad passed away. I was so broke, I couldn't see straight. I had no assets, no retirement account, no savings, collections, car repossessions, back child support, owe the IRS money. But I said, you know what? I cannot continue to live like this. Then on top of that, I was going through that, my dad passed away. And I had to and I had to really sit down and have a come to Jesus moment and say, you know what? Enough is enough. I cannot live like this. What type of example will I be setting for my children? So 17 years later, my life is a complete turnaround, 360. I'm out of debt. Money is not an issue in my life. I'm saving. I'm investing. I'm helping people out. Hell, I'm even getting promoted on my job when I'm not even trying to get promoted. And now I'm going to be making even more money. So guys, I, 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 I truthfully, I honestly feel like when you do right in life, you're good to people. You treat people right. You have your money together. Because I, I firmly believe if you handle the money right that you already have, money will come to you in abundance. That's how I really feel that way. Why would I be blessed with more money when I can't even handle the money that I have already the correct way? So if I can't handle a small amount of money, why would I be blessed to handle a large amount of money? Just what happened, guys. It just doesn't make sense to me. I was thinking about this last night when I laid in my hotel room. And I'm thinking, I wasn't even trying to get promoted. And I got promoted. I've already, the last five years, been making the most money I ever made in my life. Now, I'm going to make even more. My goal, guys, I'm 52 years old because I'm in a high-stress field. My goal was to step down in a couple years and get out of management completely. And just take on a role where I could just come to work and go home. But now I'm like, man, if I'm going to keep getting promoted, I might as well stick around a little bit longer because my main goal is to get my house paid off and then invest and keep it and keep investing as much money as I possibly can. So as long as I can handle the stress, I might just keep going for another four or five years because it's just going to help my retirement that much better. With a paid off home and more money invested. Because guys, I know I have to take care of me. Nobody is going to take care of me. I got to make shit happen. Nobody's going to make shit happen for me. So I want you guys to have hope. I want you guys to have hope. Whatever your situation is, you can work out of it. It's not hopeless. You can work out of it, guys. Don't ever think your situation is hopeless. Guys, it's easy to get into debt. It's so easy to get into debt. Buying a card here, using credit cards here, taking out a store card here, taking out a personal loan here. Before you know it, you're in over your head. But it's hard as hell getting out of debt. Guys, it's hard. And it takes commitment and it takes discipline to get out of debt. But you can do it. I'm living proof of that. I've done it. Building wealth is easy. Building wealth is easy, guys, when you have no debt. When you're not walking around with debt the size of an 800-pound gorilla on your back, it's easy to grow wealth. Guys, my channel, my I don't want I do not want my channel to be a complex channel. I just want to get on here and give facts. 
I just want to get on my channel, give facts, try to motivate people to do better in their financial lives. That's all I want to do. I just want to help. If I help one person, it was well worth my journey because we all can do better than what we're doing. We all can do better, but it's up to us to make it happen. It's up to us, guys. It is up to us to make it happen. Nobody is coming to save us. The government is coming, not coming to save us. Your job is not going to save you. You can't work your way to wealth. You can't save your way to wealth. You need assets to grow wealth. And on my channel, that's all I'm going to talk about is building assets, getting out of debt, investing in retirement accounts, investing in brokerage firms. My channel is not going to be about complex stuff. Some stuff may be mentioned in one video, or may be mentioned in another video, because I believe in repetition. Somebody may hear something in one video, somebody may not hear it the next video, but they may hear it, but they may hear it in the next video. So I'm not trying to have a complex channel. I want my channel to be my channel is just about simple, easy steps to get out of debt and to build wealth. Cause that's all we need to do, guys. Building wealth is easy. Once you eliminate the debt, building wealth is easy. I am 52 years old and I do not worry about money. Because why? I got my butt out of consumer debt. All I have is a car. All I have is a mortgage. That's it. I don't have credit card debt. I don't have personal loans. I don't have car payments. I got a motorcycle. I don't have motorcycle payments. Because all those years I was dabbing in debt was robbing me of my future. Guys, every dollar you blow is a dollar that's not multiplying in assets. That's just facts. Every dollar that you blow is not multiplying, making you money in assets. That's just facts. To grow wealth, you have to put your money in assets. You have to obtain assets. You have to purchase assets like real estate, homes, apartment buildings, duplexes, commercial real estate, start a business, be in the stock market, buy stocks or mutual funds or index funds. You have to be able to make money while you sleep in order to build wealth. So guys, like I said, Sometimes I don't think I deserve to be where I'm at in my life because I've done a lot of bad things in my earlier life. But the way I live my life now, I have to think sometimes, but the way I live my life now, I have to give myself some credit because I work hard. I got myself out of debt. I put in the work. So now money is flowing to me abundantly, in abundance, to where money is not an issue in my life. If one of my kids needs some help from me, I can help my kids, guys. When I was growing up, I had nobody to help me. If I didn't have it, I just didn't have it. I couldn't go to my mother. I couldn't go to my father. They were broke. There was no one who could bail me out of a jam when I was growing up. I did not want to be in that same position and have my children feel that way about me. Oh, I can't go to my dad because I know he ain't got it. Now, my children are self-sufficient. They're grown. They're self-sufficient. They're doing their own thing. They're navigating themselves through life. But I know, but they know, and I know they know if they needed me, I would be able to help them. So, guys, I want to thank you guys for um, listening, to, listening to me talk tonight. I was just sitting in, sitting in my hotel room, just bored, and I was just, been, I was just thinking. You know, I was, th I was thinking about this promotion and, um, and just thinking like, man, you know, good things keep happening to me, and sometimes I just don't feel like I deserve it. I mean, you're looking at a guy who came out of the ghetto with only a high school diploma. I, I, I just look and I just think about it, and I'm like, man, how did this even happen? How did this even happen? But then I have to give him, do I deserve this? Because I've done a lot of bad things in life, but I changed my life around. I'm a good father. I'm a good son. I'm a good brother. I'm a good friend. I would help anybody. I would give the shirt off my back to anybody because I don't want to see anybody suffer. I don't want to see anybody suffer. And that's why if I can give one person this knowledge, 
that would help them, it's worth my journey. It's well worth my journey, guys. And I mean that because I want everyone to have hope. I want everyone to have hope. Everyone can get to their pot of gold, but you got to put in the work. You got to put in the work, guys. You got to put in the work. So with that, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. Again, guys, show me some love. Remember to like the video, share the video, and most important, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, Frank Talks Money, where you're always going to get straight honesty from me, nothing but the truth, nothing but being transparent, because I want to see everybody win. Remember, financial decisions you make today will impact your financial life tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. Frank Talks Money, I am out.